Welcome to the Billionaire Channel. A place of super luxury and royalty, with an acting career spanning over the course of nearly 30 years, Leonardo DiCaprio has emerged out of Hollywood as one of Tinseltown's biggest stars. Fast forward 25 years, 5 Oscar nominations, and 1 Oscar win later, and Leonardo DiCaprio is one of today's most easily recognized and distinguished leading men on the planet. As Leonard DiCaprio has a net worth of $245 million. With all of those dollars in his bank account, now all we want to know is how exactly does someone of DiCaprio's caliber spend all of that money, number 1. Private jets. Whether it be by air, by sea, or by concrete, Leonardo DiCaprio always seems to find a way to ride with style. Considering that a man of his caliber has a job that demands him to travel to every end of the world. Understandably, he opts for private jets, which he probably rolls out a hefty $200,000 for, since that's the price of the average private jet. Number 2. Lavish Properties. On top of being quite the exceptional actor of his era, DiCaprio also happens to be quite the smart businessman as well. Rather than put all of his chips in acting, DiCaprio has chosen to invest into being a home proprietor in real estate. More recently, DiCaprio bought Moby's Los Angeles property for $4.9 million. He also sold the Malibu property that he originally bought at a very young age. He earned more than $10 million from that house. Number 3. Fast Cars. All boys love their toys, and like most boys, Leonardo DiCaprio's favorite toy of choice is the average 4,000-pound motorized speed demon of the road that we call a car. Before the company closed its doors in 2014, Leo was a big fan of Fisker Automotive. He invested in the company as its brand ambassador before the company went bankrupt, but it wasn't just a clever business endeavor for DiCaprio. He actually loved their cars, at one point pitching in about $100,000 for a Fisker Karma Hybrid. Number 4. Art Collection. Leonardo has pitched in millions and millions of dollars on paintings and over the years has managed to build up a respectable art collection for himself that any collector would be proud of. He once bought a groovy sci-fi inspired painting by Jean-Pierre Roy for $38,000 during Volta at Coffin Hagen's Gallery Palsen, Number 5. The Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation. Outside of his work in front of the camera, DiCaprio is perhaps most renowned for the charity work which he does from behind the camera. When he isn't pouring his heart and soul out for his latest movie, he is spending his time funding the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation, which is dedicated to all things related environmentalism. This would include concerns of climate change, indigenous life, and woodland conservation. Most recently, DiCaprio celebrated its foundation's 20th anniversary. In that time, the foundation raised $100 million to save the planet. Number 6. Renting Yachts. DiCaprio has been spotted often at the head of an expensive giant boat as if he were still playing Jack on top of the ill-fated Titanic. What does distinguish DiCaprio from most of these celebs who go all out on pricey yachts is that DiCaprio does not actually buy his yachts. In order to save a bit of his coin, he opts to rent out his yachts instead. Although, renting a yacht is still pricey. He once rented the world's fifth largest yacht for $678 million just to watch the World Cup with his buddies on the boat. Number 7. The Real Ruby Slippers from Wizard of Oz. In addition to being a major movie star, Leonardo DiCaprio is also naturally a huge movie fan. Speaking of The Wizard of Oz, one of his most notable pieces of movie memorabilia was when he bought Dorothy's ruby red slippers to be featured in the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. Prior to the auction, the slippers were estimated at a value of $3 million. Number 8. Movie Rights. We are all familiar with Leonardo DiCaprio's career as an actor, but few of us are aware that he also happens to maintain a side hustle as a movie producer. He produced The Wolf of Wall Street, and most recently bought the film option for Liz Nugent's Unraveling Oliver novel, which DiCaprio hopes to adapt for the big screen. Number 9. Exotic Pets. No matter how old or rich any of us get, we will never be too old or rich to have a pet. When Leonardo isn't cozied up beside a bath of money, he's curled up next to a tortoise. Well, 
not just any tortoise. It has been reported before that DiCaprio attended a reptile breeders conference in LA with a friend, and was so wowed by the sight of all of the exotic animals that surrounded him, he decided to take a detour to a California pet store and bought a 10-year-old sulcata tortoise, number 10. A private island. DiCaprio bought an island for $1.75 million that resides off the coast of Belize, and now hopes to use it to build an eco-resort. The resort will be called Blackador K, a restorative island, and is expected to open in late 2018. The island will feature 36 estate homes and another 36 resort bungalows. The whole thing promises to be powered by 100% renewable energy harvested from solar panels. Thanks for watching the video. For more interesting videos subscribe to our channel.